Yo, what's going on folks? It's me, Justin, and today we're going to be talking about keyword research for programmatic SEO websites. Now, you get this question sometimes, but the reality of the situation is it's more or less the exact same as normal keyword research, but you're going to be doing a little bit of estimating and extrapolation of data. Let's talk about it. So normal keyword research, of course, you're starting a brand new niche website, brand new authority website. You want to go for low competition keywords with as much search volume as possible. That's kind of the, the modus operandi, operandi for, uh, for, for, for most of us, right? Low competition. You want to be able to rank quick. You want to get that, um, that feedback, get the feedback loop rolling. So you go, all right, we're winning. Let's win some more. Eventually move up to higher difficult keywords, um, over time and, uh, start winning even more. Well, programmatic SEO, it's kind of the same, but you can also have content created that's not necessarily based entirely on keyword data from the tools. You can make assumptions. You can, you can extrapolate data. Like it says here, um, we'll talk well, here we go. This is, this is how, this is how, this is how I make my assumptions here, right? So I start with a seed keyword or a suite of seed keywords. Um, if we're looking at like, uh, we're making city pages, you know, best X in city, whatever. New York, LA, Phoenix, Houston, Seattle. I think those are the five most populated metros in the U S uh, those would kind of be my, my benchmarks. Actually, I take that back. I want to use those as benchmarks because most of those are outliers. I'd probably start, I'd, I'd go look in like the, the one to 2 million, maybe the hundred thousand upper hundred thousands. But regardless, I'd start with uh, some seed keywords that I could use as a benchmark. And then I check their population or popularity or whatever information I have over those keywords or have for those keywords, and then kind of apply that to some keywords that I'd want to rank for, but I don't have the data for it. I have examples. We have examples. Here we go. It's population extrapolation. So say we're, say we're making a website for butchers. We want to either rank and rent or do some kind of directory thing for butchers in the United States. Woo so you find a keyword, you know, Kansas city butcher, that's where I'm located. Um, and you also want to create pages all the way down the line for every single Metro down to a hundred thousand people. And you, you Sioux Falls Butcher is one of those cities, right? That's where I'm from. So the population of the city metro is 2.2 million in Kansas City, but only 282,000 in Sioux Falls. So with the keyword data, with you know going on Ahrefs, you can see that Kansas City Butcher gets about 1.2 thousand searches per month. But say Sioux Falls Butcher, there is no data for it because no one's tried to you know create pages for that. They've never, whatever, they've never jacked the data from somebody's search console that linked it to Ahrefs. <laughs> so there is no information, but you can just go, all right, well, that's 13% of the population. It's reasonable to estimate that Sioux Falls Butcher would get about 13% of the search volume. Um, maybe more, maybe less, but it's reasonable to estimate that. So maybe like 130, uh, 140, uh, searches per month. And of course, like all, you know, we all know that when you create a page, you're not ranking for one keyword. You're going to rank for all kinds of variations, butchers and Sioux Falls, cheap butcher. Um, when people just search for butcher and they're in the Sioux Falls Metro, then you, your page should show up, um, just locally. So that's what I mean by population extrapolation. And it sounds cool. Nice little rhyme there. Uh, and then popularity, it's more or less the exact same thing, but instead of going off hard data, like population, you're looking at more, I guess, soft data. Uh, that's kind of the, that's the opposite of hard data, right? Hard and soft. So you start with, again, your, your known keyword. You look at, here's some examples, estimated website traffic, either through search or, or through one of the search tools or through something like, uh, I, I don't even know. I don't use it. The web estimated web traffic to those, those inaccuracies. If you want, you could use those as long as you use the same one for every single thing you're trying to compare. Um, that way, at least the data is consistent. It might be incorrect, but it's at least it's consistent. So you can look at brand search specifically that brand and only that brand name. 
and and see what that search um, data is estimated to be at with the tools. Uh, if it's something, you know, like a newer platform or newer service or new products, something like that, you can look at social media, uh, the following, you can see if there's actually getting engagement or if it's just bot followers, bought and or bot followers. Uh, you know, this can, I like candles. All right. This candle, boom, cinnamon coffee cake. Maybe this brand has 15,000 followers on, on Instagram. All right. Well, this other brand, and I know I, I've written a bunch of articles about this brand, and I'm getting 12,000 visitors per month um, for that suite of articles written. Well, this brand has 3,000, so it's reasonable to estimate that that other brand would get, you know, 20% of the traffic this brand would get. Maybe more, maybe less, but shake the dice, roll it, gamble. Um, or you can also look at what's already winning for you. And that's kind of what I started doing, um, I guess, less programmatically in the sense that I was doing it from a spreadsheet more I was doing programmatic. I just didn't know. Uh, it had a name at the time. Um, and again, I have this right now because I thought about this and I was like, uh, I'm not going to be able to remember that. But essentially what you're looking for is another number somewhere that you can use as a benchmark for how you want the rest of the content or how you think the rest of the content will perform. Um, and I'm going to have another example on the next page. So here's two platforms that I have created content for. Uh, one established with about 12 million estimated branded searches per month and the other one 2.1 million. And I kind of started right around here. Now you can't see that because this little bar popped up, but right when it was starting to take off, that's when I started uh, getting after it and it's, it's doing all right. So a real example, again, same thing, brand one, the main service in the space, brand two is an upcoming service. I created a page for this one at some point, like probably the second page I ever created for this website. This one, I saw that this one was doing numbers. So I literally, this is probably more brand swapping than programmatic. It's more like systematic creation of content. I said, you know what? It's like right here. It's like, this one's growing. This one's doing all right. Let's just create the same pieces of content as this one for this one. This is just one page down here um, in the screenshot. But as you can see, you know, Look at that CTR, 6.1% for the big bad booty daddy, damn near 20% for this up and coming. And just for the record, brand one made about $4,000 in 2022. I think it was like 3968. Brand two, a little over $10,000 in 2022. Um, with, as far as these pages go, you know, uh, two thirds of the traffic for this page from Google. So it, it, it's cool. You, you're able to capitalize early on something. I'm quite literally the only person that has this page on the internet. This one, this one right here, only guy. People come to it, they go in, they sign up. I get recurring commissions for forever. Um, <laughs> So what what did I do after I discovered this going on? I went and created quite literally the exact same page, swapped out the names, um, added a few little bit here and there, boom, boom, boom. Again, not necessarily programmatic SEO, um, but it can be applied to programmatic SEO. You're not looking at keyword data for every single thing you're going to create. You're estimating going, hmm, I could probably win over here because I've won here. Let's try and some flop, but the ones that don't, they do all right. That's all. You got a question, throw it in the comments. I'm out.